Alright, so... I changed my graphics settings slightly. Let's see how everything is. Oh god, everyone is the loudest person in the world right now. Oh, everyone's yelling at me. Everybody's yelling. Alright, I want to settle some stuff, buy some stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, are your wares for sale? I know you're going to be snippy and sarcastic with me. No. I just put them out for you to look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what you need, and be quick about it. Tell me what you need. This is how you lose customers, you son of a bitch. Alright, well, I don't need the iron helmet. I don't need the iron shield. The reinforced leather shield. Or these fine armbands. I do need that steel shield, though. That's going to be very useful for me. So I'm going to sell... The hunting longbow. And... I think that's pretty much all I can really sell to you right now. Unless I have some random shit I don't want. I don't need two uh, blueprints for anything, so I can sell you those. I'm thinking I might hold on to the gold ingot in case I want to smith something with it. I don't know if it's going to be useful for me later on. I finally found that shovel. I'm going to need that shovel. I... I should probably just sell the blueprints for all the iron stuff. I'm never going to use it again. Because now I'm just using steel, so... Why the hell do I want it? Walk blessed. Yeah, don't say it like someone's holding a goddamn axe to your head. I was gonna say sword, but then I realized that wouldn't make sense now, would it? Oh, I need steel for that. I don't have any steel. Um, where's your... Where's your forge? There it is. Anvil. You know what I meant. He didn't know what I meant, but... I know what I meant. Um... I'm just looking real fast. Because... Wait, what is the requirement for the goddamn... Medium backpack? Handcraft to 25. I have handy... I... I have handicraft to 25, don't I? Handicraft of 30. Yeah. Oh, I have to make it out of tanning rack, don't I? I think... Yeah, no, I have to make it out of the tanning rack for leather. Alright. Hello there. How are you doing today? Yes. Yes, indeed. Use this tanning rack. Uh, small backpack. Medium backpack. I need a steel ingot and a quick silver ingot. Increases carrying capacity by 30. That's supposed to be small, which does by 15. Acts like a sublime. Uh, Some people just don't know their place. You know what? I'll hold off on it. It's not the end of the world if I don't do it just yet. And I have enough carry weight for now. Yes. Alright. So now check the journal. Find Max Nice Blood. I'm going to die if I do that. Wanted an arc. Hunt down Bertullus the Ripper. So we don't buy the title deed of a house at Silver and Friends. The biggest egg hunt yet to Drury Field. I do need to find Aaliyah. I'll just keep an eye out for her as I traverse the city. I kind of want to go to the Nobles Quarter. Just to, you know, kind of see. Um, I also kind of want to head to the library. My sir. Nope, it's all right. Hey, you don't need to be snippy with me. Moment. You're the Naramis, aren't you? The Outlander. Yeah. Uh, how did you know? Well, let's put it this way. I have a pair of eyes here and there. And it's always good to know who comes into this city and when they do so. And, uh, what do you want from me? Help. Oh. You're an unfamiliar face, and this is just what I need. Let me make it short. I'm a businessman. And my specialties are the liquid pleasures. Beer, to call a child by its name. In Ark, most inns only pour two drinks. On the one hand, my beer. On the other hand, Rivervale Ale. Dalsarker honey wine is what they like to call that swill. Wow, all right. Now, the thing is, the Rivervale Brewery and I have a deal going. And unfortunately, the new vine dresser respects that deal as much as the Rolada respect the righteous path. <laughs> I like your jokes, sir. This is why I want your help. 
I need someone to aid me in serving some uh, retributive justice, so to speak. Bananas, the precious fruits right from the farmer's What do I get out of this? Uh, what deal did you have with the old vine dresser exactly, and how does the new one not respect it? Now look at that. Aren't you curious? That's good. I like that. Yeah. It's simple. Seven barrels of beer per tavern and per week from me. Seven barrels of wine from him. No tricks. All right. You mean you've set a limit on how much beer or wine each of you sell to taverns each week? Correct. That way, we maintain balance. Should an inn order more than these seven barrels, either I or the vinery inform each other about it first. The fact is, that new vine dresser doesn't care about that deal at all. All he does is walk around saying things like how he'll grow the business, how rivalry adds spice, and other Kalean horse shit like that. Don't start insulting Kaleans. And unfortunately, some people seem to fall for him. One innkeeper has an order from me for three weeks, and now pours only ale instead. Oh. No. But what, what if I go to the inn and I want beer? If it's uh. Fish you seek. What do I get out of this? A lot. Depending on how good you do, we can even talk about letting you in as a shareholder of my brewery. <gasps> With small parts, of course. Oh, yes. But as I said, that depends on how you do. Oh, I'll do it. Oh, I'll help. Wonderful. Here, this is a flask of highly concentrated vinegar. Sneak into the basement of Fat Leoran's Inn. That's one of the inns that fools talked into only buying ale. And pour that into the big mead barrel. All right. And, uh, I probably don't need to say this, but still, not a word to anyone. Get back to me once it's all taken care of, and we'll talk coin. Alright, revenge is sour. Oh, indeed it is. Swap the meat barrel for a vinegar barrel. It's like, hey, we're just drinking vinegar. This tastes yes. disgusting. You'd think someone would catch on a little bit if I literally just swapped the two. Alright. Noble's Quarter? Oh, good. Maybe I can find um, his apprentice, Ilya, or whatever her name was. Alright. Now to find his apprentice. I mean, I don't think it's going to be that easy. This place is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, someone's singing The Aged Man. Please. I'm so hungry. How'd you... Name, my sir. Please, just one penny. How'd you get up to the upper city? Here's one penny. Thank you. That's really generous. May his light guide you. All right, whatever you say. All right, now to find his goddamn apprentice. Hello? Ooh. I do like the noble's quarter. This place is quite pretty. Hello yes. there. Yes? Excuse me, I'm new in this area. Do you happen to have any tips? Well, I might, but don't think I'm telling you anything. Oh, no. I know what you bronze-skinned people are like. Okay. Always out for more money. Now do me a favor and shove off. You goddamn racist. You, why do you people hate Kaleans so much? What have I done to you? Who are you? I'm, I'm a Kaleian. One day, Half I'm Kalean. gonna be an Sorry. adventurer. Hi there. I'm hey, wait a minute, you... Wait, are you who I'm looking for? <sighs> Never mind. Wait a second, you're the apprentice. You're an apprentice. What is it? Oh, um... You're an outlander, aren't you? Oh, alright, no. From Kilei. Your skin, it looks, um... Some people just different. She just wants to ask me about Kilei. Um... My mother does, yes, I grew up on Narum, though. Narum, you say? Huh. No, we had this conversation. Still, Not us specifically, but you know. Your mother must have told you a lot about her homeland, didn't she? Uh, Say, yeah. is it true that on Kilei, okay, even yeah, the door no, handles of done. the slum houses are coated with gold? We're done. I heard the Blue know, Island man. Coalition Please, no, is so rich that they can afford to command a mercenary army large enough to fight an army of seraphs. Missa? Farewell. Yeah, I'm just listening to her talk in the background. I don't really care. The upper city... Not upper city. I keep on saying upper city, but... Hey, the noble's court is beautiful. You? Oh, guardian! I bet you've got a lot of stories to tell. I love your armor. Where can I get it? I want some of that. Uh, Delgaes's estate. Boring. Your eyes house. What is this big building right here? Oh, the bathhouse. Oh. Oh, I could take a bath. I could probably use it. I don't think I've ever bathed. Mister. 
All right, let's go inside. The fat Leoran. Oh, maybe his apprentice is here. Hello there. Have you heard the news about the Magister? Yep, I heard. Word has it that he murdered 30 novices Voices and killed himself up in the temple. Oh, the land, Just looking for his goddamn apprentice, who I don't think is here. Guessing no. Oh, that door is locked. Maybe she's upstairs, I don't know. Oh, wow. There's another story. I know I have to go downstairs, but don't worry about it. I love these songs. They're so incredible. I love the English versions, now that I can understand them. I kind of want to get someone who speaks German to tell me how they compare. Because I don't know if they're any different verse-wise. I would imagine not really. There we go. Alright. Yes, of course you'd say that. Do you want to swap the meat barrel with the vinegar barrel? Yes! There we go. Uh oh! Hi. What? Who are you? And what do you do with that beautiful barrel? Oh no. Uh, none of your business. Mmm, that. That is nice of you, you, you know. But I, I think t today is your lucky day. For 50 pennies, I will forget what I saw here. Oh, you got them extorting me. Uh. Hmm. So I could kill him. Alright, here's some money, but no tricks. Understood? Of course not. What do you think? Thanks a lot. I would rather just pay him off than attack him in the middle of a goddamn... goddamn inn filled with people. I feel like that's a terrible idea, honestly. Hello there. Malfassi's blessings. I want something to drink. What have you got? A little bit of this and that. Why not take a look? Alright, let's see what we have. Oh, he has the beer! He lied to me! Look at this, he he has beer. He's bullshit. Um, do I want to sell anything to him? I, hmm, not really, no. I will buy... Eh, actually, no, I'm not gonna buy anything. I'll buy... Hmm... I should buy some food, honestly. I just want something that's gonna heal me for... Yeah, no, I don't want... Yeah, no, this is good. Because I have plenty of food that will heal me for... Be even. Like, ten minutes or so, but I don't need just that. I can use something that'll heal me for a little bit less, so I'll take the th thing for... for five minutes. Yeah, Alright. That was simple enough, and... Still, and no sign of her. Let me just take a look. Aaliyah and Ark can persuade her to return to the temple. Likely walks around the nobles of the barrack quarters. Uh, if I can find her and send her back, you will reward me. Between darkness. So she's just yes. walking around somewhere. Hello, novice. Hello, magister. Who the? Who is yelling? Oh, it's over there. The spears at the ready, driving the I'm just gonna go talk to him real fast, see what's up. Hello? No. Nope. Day after day. Oh, I dream. Midnight. What? I'm sorry if I interrupted you. Dark veils between fire and ice. Wah! Rah, the loneliness of the elder man. Yeah! Boom! Pow! What the? I, I beg your pardon? I'm, I don't know. In the fangs of violence, my heart laughs. So hot, yet so cold, oh no, such woe! Karach! Ahu, aya! But, by the righteous path, this is incredible! Oh, thank you. I, I, I've never heard anything like this before. D tell me, my friend, where did you learn this? Who taught you poetry? No one. I'm an autodidact. 
Blazes, you're self-taught. Malthus truly did bless you with talent. Tell me, uh, may I interpret your poem? It's, it's just I... I have to. I'll be my guest. Hmm, well then, I... I hope this is not too much of a leap. But does your first line, the, the one with the dancing elder between fire and ice, deal with the socio-sexual isolation of old people in feudal societies? I, I may be wrong, but that was the first thought that came to my head. Yeah, no, I always think about old people fucking. Uh, that's what I meant indeed by Malthus in here. I was thinking the metaphor was too risky. No, no, not at all. I was particularly moved by how you used onomatopoeia in line four and six. You have a really good memory. I already forgot what I said. Brutal noises at the end of each verse uh, symbolize the hedonistic, violent way of life among the common people who have absolutely no regard for the lonely man. Apparently I'm very poetic. Exactly. Wow. What about the second poem? Hmm. Phew. Well, that's a tough one. Uh, to me, it sounds like the inner voice... Of a murderer. Yes, exactly. Here, he celebrates his bloodthirsty way of life. In the fangs of violence, my heart laughs. <laughs> and then, suddenly, justice ends him, which is once again conveyed through those guttural noises. <laughs> and I have to say, how you use the uneven number of verses as a metaphor for the discord that results from such a lifestyle is nothing short of brilliant. Of course it is. If that's what you meant by it, of course. You did, didn't you? Uh, of course I did. Yes, you're incredible. I thought no one would even ever understand. <sighs> well, you know what? They wouldn't. The common people. They don't even understand when I tell them I'm a poet. Poet, they ask? What kind of profession is that? So now I simply tell them I'm an innkeep. That is something they are able to grasp with their limited intellect. Easy answers. That's what people long for. Tell me about it. But you know what? I would rather die hungry than become one of those soulless pot boiler artists who make a fortune off their stupid stories. Like, uh, Jonas Schmeid does. Who? Do you know him? No. Nope. Mundane rubbish. That's all he writes, but you'll find it on every bookshelf. It's a disgrace. Pure and simple. Why are, uh, Schmeid's stories so bad? <laughs> what? What kind of question is that? I don't know him. How can something that so many people like not be rubbish? Oh god, you're a hipster. You're a poetry hipster. You mean anything that's successful has to be trite? Of course. Not everyone has been blessed with an artist's intellect, you know. Okay. There are two kinds of writers. Small minds who give the common people fodder that helps them feel smart, and true artists who want more from life. You're one of these artists, aren't Those you? Those create, with no greed for gold and fame, bound solely by the calling of the muse. All right. Uh, I, I guess you're right. Of course I am. Yeah, sure. I wish it weren't true, but it is. If only there were more people like us. Sure. Oh, I dare you. In the Shackles of Lust, presented by the poet. Is that all? Alright, no, that's it. Here I was hoping he would have a quest for me. I just... Oh, hello there. Have you heard the news okay, about the no, Magister? Okay, no, no, it's fine. Word has it that he murdered 30 novices. Yeah, no, 30 novices, I know, I've heard it. I've heard it all before. Trust me, I'm helping investigate it a little bit, and by investigate, I mean... Well, the investigation's kind of over, I suppose. I don't know if I'm gonna find her at all. Also, I really didn't need to come over here. There's nothing over here, I don't know why I came over here at all. Alright, yep, yeah, no, maybe she'll be in the barrack quarters. Barrack quarters? Yeah, no, that's what it was. I'm gonna find her, and she's gonna be like, I can't possibly go back, I have too much work to do! Alright. Uh, let's check the barrack quarters real fast, and then... Then we'll see about heading back. Arc? Yeah, Doppelbach. See, that's... That's the beer! That's the beer that he said they don't have at the inns anymore. He lied to me. 
With strongest will he lied. But you know what? I'm getting split. Yeah. I'm gonna be a shareholder, so I really don't care that much. I get to show that snooty, uh, bankman that I know a thing or two about business, that I'm very business-minded. Look at that sun. Beautiful. Ah, yes, the sun shining over Sun Temple. It makes perfect sense. Alright, so let's see if we can find her. The barrack quarters also make sense. Because, you know, it's along the way to the Ark Temple, so it would make sense that she'd be closer to the temple. Hello there, Keeper. Yes? Is it important? It's very important, trust me. Uh... Watch, she's literally just gonna be hanging out right before the Sun Temple, and we'd be like, Really? Your master's looking for you, you know? And you're just standing here? <sighs> Alright, hopefully I can find her. If not, then... Well, I'll find her eventually. I don't see anyone here. Oh, let's watch him practice. I will say, I do like the armor and the robes that all the keepers use. Oh god, he hit me! Oh, that hurt a little bit. Hello there? Is this important? Okay, yeah, no. No one wants to actually talk to me. Damn it, I was hoping she would have some scrolls there for me. You may pass, but treat this place with respect, Outlander. Alright, well, let's just see if she's over here. She's not. Oh, I can't take these plants? No. I was hoping I could. They're temple property. You can't have them. They're not for you, Outlander. It's like... I, I'm a guest here. I've been welcomed into the temple by... Uh, my sir Firespark. Forget his actual name. I think it was Firespark. <laughs> Alright, let's head into the watchtower, I suppose. Because I don't know where she is. I'll find her eventually. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know where the library is. Because one of my quests was like, hey, maybe you should check out the library. And I was like, well, sure. I will. I'll happily check out the library. Oh, I can sleep in these beds. I heard someone. Who just sighed? Who was it? Whoever it was, I want to talk to you now. Oh, I heard her. I... Well, I don't know if that was her specifically. I heard a lady. Lady? Hello? Was it you talking? Huh? Is, Can I help you? Is there any news? <laughs> what? You mean apart from frenzied animals, okay, yeah, hordes no. of living dead no, that's looking fine. through the wilderness nope. in this hole? Red madness thing? Yeah, no, I'm well aware. No, none. Just be careful when you're outside the walls. Alright, I will. <sighs> We always go too easy on this guy. I just want to find the apprentice, and I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, nope, she's not here. Oh well. She wasn't in the inn, she wasn't anywhere that I've looked so far. I'm also sure I'll just come across her randomly later on, which is also just perfectly fine. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm still in the military barracks, though. Mm hmm. I'll find her eventually. It's also not the end of the world. Hello there, aristocrats. The Outlander. Okay, yep, what nope. What are you doing in this part of the city? Yep, uh -huh. all right. I don't know, somewhere else? These people are so racist to me. I don't like it. Hello there. Hmm? Ah, uh, you're just a laborer, huh? Oh, look at these headstones. Very nice, very pretty. All right. Hear my words, O path of people And yep, of this nope, holy there's the herald. City. Rumors circulate. Rumors about the horrible events of the past. <gasps> rumors of towers not entirely <laughs> spawning. There it is. Wait, oh, and the part of it just disappeared yet, did. Alright. Let's go talk to the man, tell him that everything's been taken care of. Wait, hold on. Hello there. War on Nerum. Okay, never mind. War on Kill. Oh, hey! Game crashed. All right, let's go talk to the the master brewer and tell him that everything's been taken care of. You just don't get any younger. You just wait, Missa. Oh, hello there. God blessed, my friend. You look disheartened, and I have just the right thing for you—a visit to our gallery. Ooh. 
Dozens of beautiful paintings by different artists, each of them a treat for the eye. Oh, oh, don't push me towards Come her. Come now, for tomorrow you may not have a chance. Some no, I thought so. Then have a nice day. No, I'm, no, I'll go. You run a gallery? That's unusual. You don't sound very motivated. Well, probably because I'm not. My husband thinks running around the city and talking to every peasant who crosses my path will help us get our gallery running again. But that's just idiotic. I'm not a peasant. You run a gallery? That's... unusual. Oh, really? What makes you say that? It's not like our country is ruled by a group of antiquated conservative clerics who care as little about art as they care for the latest trend in Kalean fashion. They do hate Kaleans. But no, you're right. It is unusual. But even a narrow-minded country like Enderal has artists. And those artists need a place to show their work. Which is just what we do. Uh... Tomorrow you might not have a chance. I take it your gallery isn't doing so well? That's one way to put it. Truth be told, if the Golden Sickle doesn't decide to leave a barrel full of coin on our doorstep tomorrow, we won't be able to pay rent much longer. Oh. Especially now that my esteemed mother has decided to play hermit. <laughs> wow. Listen to me. A month ago, I would have been too proud to admit this. Now I shouted at a complete stranger. That's what I'm here for. Uh, what does your mother have to do with all of this? She's a painter. Our best-selling painter, to be precise. Some people even came from other countries to see your portraits. At least before the war. <clears throat> really? What makes her painting so special? Mm, it's hard to describe. She's portrayed half of Ark's nobility by now. At least that's what it feels like. And she does it. The paintings are just so... intense. I don't know how else to put it. That's why people are willing to pay a fortune for them. It's crazy if you think about it. Your mother plays hermit? What do you mean by that? Well, what I said. For months, she has not reacted to our letter, nor sent one herself. And what's worse, she hasn't sent us any new paintings. Which is one of the reasons why this place isn't going so well. And in case you wonder why we just don't visit her, my mother was always a little... special. And where she resides reflects that. The Dark Valley. Oh, that sounds lovely. Uh, I see. You know what? I get around quite a bit. Maybe I could pay this Dark Valley a visit and see if your mother is alright. You'd do that. That's... Uh, quite the offer, to be honest. A word of warning in advance. I cannot pay you. That is, unless you're interested in a painting from Prince Myth. But I warn you, they're as bad as his poems. That's fine, I'll take it. Uh, maybe your mother can pay me. Hmm. Yes, maybe she can. It might be worth a try. <gasps> I can get a painting of myself! My mother and I. We don't exactly have a... Uh, good relationship. But still, I need to know she's alright. You said you travel a lot. So you have a map with you, right? Show me. Okay. So, there you go. That's where her hut should be. At least approximately. Good luck, and, uh, thanks. I like how you don't know where your mother lives. Visit Andrasta Braveblood to see if everything is alright. Well, it probably isn't. It's never alright, is it now? Oh, the museum. Oh, a museum. We're coming back to the museum later. That re door requires key. Oh, shucks. I. Thanks. Tell me it's just a door. It's great. Ark Brewery. Mister. Uh, let's go in through the main entrance. My sir. Hello there. I did what you asked. Wonderful. I can't wait to see what that stupid innkeeper has to say about the Rivervale Ale after tonight. Here's a reward. 40 pennies. And, as promised, a paper that marks you as a shareholder of the brewery. That should keep you motivated to stay silent about this in the meantime. Um... Hmm... I don't want to be too greedy, because if I tell him this, he's gonna be like, What? You told someone? We're all- we're screwed now! Hmm... On second thought, there was a little accident which cost me 50 pennies. You should compensate me for that, too. Um... No, because he seems kind of like a bastard about this stuff, so fine. Talk to Samael Sildren and Sildren and Friends, the bank. He will make sure you get your share of the brewery. Alright. Now, 
Walk blessed. There's a lot to do. Alright, let's put... I'm gonna put into health. Revenge is sour. Completed. Alright, well now I want to go check out the, uh... Oh, it's a minstrel! Oh, and Hello. she's smoking. Hmm? Is it important? It's not. I just wanted to watch you smoke. Uh, hello? Oh, you're just a citizen. <clears throat> Walk blessed. Thank you. I put that. I... Let's just take a look around real fast. So what do we have here? Someone's cabin. Okay. Oh. What are you doing sitting on the ground, <laughs> sir? Oh, you're just... Please, just one penny. You're just some poor bastard. Uh-huh. All right, let's head into the museum. Why don't we? Because that sounds that sounds lovely. I want to go to a museum. I still need to find a library for that matter. Ooh! Oh, this is beautiful. Move along. Hmm? Is it important? Really, you don't want to talk to me? Okay, fine. Examine curiosity. The famous loot. Uh, and the just as known flute, loot and flute, um, of the gleeman and minstrel Gregor Casanoa Goldenthroat. Pull stories tell of several unfaithful women who cheated their old rags with this broth of a man. Alright. Oh, hi there! My sir. Oh, he doesn't want to I talk to me. I just don't respect the elders anymore. Not at all. You don't? Okay. Examine. Oh. Wait. Curiosity. Energy concentrated. The last known remnants of known energy concentrators are categorized as artifacts of the highest order. They house thoughts and experiences in form of fast rotating energy fibers. To draw them from the concentrator, you need some sort of counterpart, which unfortunately has yet to be found. I want to get a better look at that. Oh, it's like a. No, it looks like a claw. This is the first. Oh, this is one of the first statues which show the most. Venerable one, the Light and Mercy Binder, Bringer, Malthus. Famous images of our Lord were created on the basis of these first drafts of Jagor Rimblo. Ah, oh, Malthus. You're dead. Ooh! Oh, <gasps> put it. oh! Look at this, this is beautiful! Inges Dorsipina and Guisensorem. In this, in the vernacular, also called as huge jagged dorsal fin with snake antennas. This is the smaller and uh, this is the smaller and female specimen whose mate was first seen by Parsival of Rygrove. Weeks after the first dorf, dorsal fin washed up at the shore, there was still deadly poison flowing out of its antennas. According to the legend, the great monarch Rado. Idsons, the third, was poisoned with a mixture of this venom by his fiance, Sibylla Carnstone, because she could not endure his bad breath anymore. Ouch! Killing your, <sighs> killing yeah, your good. spouse over bad breath. Now that's, that's in poor taste. Sorry, I'm. That was that was bad. That was bad even for me. All right, let's just take a look upstairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, I've to go to another floor. I really need that new... Ooh! What do we have here? I mean, I could just steal stuff. Uh-oh. That's a lost one. Alright. Oh! <gasps> oh, what is this? Fragments and finds of an old civilization salvaged from deep ruins. They remind us of bygone times in which they were made with effort and skill from soft stone. Annotation of the crystals grew only after the finds were dropped... Dropped draped here. It seems as they are taking their luminosity and vitality from the stone tablet. Oh! What do we have here? Here the fair and strong-hearted Count Dalgremblin of Ilitas rests in peace. While he only ruled over a small island, his reputation preceded him. He was fair to his slaves and his word was firm. He should be an example for every nobleman. Except we don't allow slaves anymore, so uh, joke's on him. Alright, let's go back outside. 